G'day guys, um, welcome back, how are we all going? Well here we are to uh, another Wednesday night live chat with you guys um, and tonight's topic is going to be about this little gadget here, the old personal location beacon now, we'll go into a lot more detail about these, the PLB, as we go forward and do you need one? Well, We'll touch on that as we go forward. So if you're just uh, jumping in here tonight for the first time, find out about my lives and the channel, Tim Bates is my name. I've got a YouTube channel, Tim Bates Four Wheel Drive Adventures. Uh, film all my uh, trips and travels that I go on and provide a lot of tips and hints along the way. So check that out, those out as well, and um, see what you can find throughout there because there's some pretty cool stuff going on on the channel and a lot of good stuff coming through. So we'll touch with you guys, heap of fellas there dropping in already. Yeah, Darren and Greg, g'day guys, how you going? Thanks so much for coming again. Uh, here you go, and Damien, uh, Michael, how you going there? Henry and Mark, thanks so much. Jimbo, thanks guys, and Chris, um, thanks so much for coming in there tonight, guys. Righto. So we're going to um, yeah, have a bit of a chat about these now. This is um, this is the unit that I, I have, and look, I'm not associated, not connected with this brand whatsoever. But I've had this this unit now for for a few years now, and um, for around three hundred bucks, fair income. If, if you are any sort of a, you know outdoor sort of a person where you're travelling into any remote areas where there's no mobile phone reception, you are feeling crazy if you're not banking one of these and put one of these in your camping kit. Um, these are an absolute lifesaver um, for any sort of situation, emergency situation. Now, I'm not going to go into PLBs tonight because, I mean, um, EPIRBs because they're a totally different ball game. I've got another video on my YouTube channel there, which, you know, if you want to check that out because they are two, pretty much two different units. So check that one out there if you're looking between the two. But for um, this sort of thing, for what I do, the PLB is absolutely fantastic. Now, there's other devices out there, you know, that you can get um, apart from this one. Um, you know, you can get units out there where you can actually sort of send texts and and that sort of stuff if you're, you know, you're in one of those sort of problems, you know, where, you know, you want to send a text to, you know, friends or family or whatever if you're in a, in a bit of a pickle. But um, the thing I like about this, and this is why I've chosen this particular unit here, is because it's fair income, it's just simple. Um, it's just an easy unit to use, and um, and that's what I sort of like about it. And I'll just show you sort of without pushing any buttons, but um, how simple this one is to use. And it's one hand operated. And that's the, the, when I when I looked at these these units. This is um, you know one thing that I sort of liked about it that was one hand operated. Just quickly going back on the subscription um, units, the, the subscription comes with any of those sort of got texting. Um, applications attached to them. There's a sub annual subscription. So, you know, that might suit you as well. So you just got to weigh it all up as to what you're doing and where you're going. But for me, this one's simple, easy, and it's pretty good. So I'll just show you how it works, so without pushing any buttons. But it's one hand operated. So what you do is, is just push that aerial out there, get that out there like, like that. Aerial pops out. Flick that up like so, and there you go. And then just that little button around the corner there, the um, actual activation button, the top one, that is the one you, you push if you're, you know, in one of these um, situations where you're, you're out there and, and something severely gone wrong with you. But the other thing with, with these too, you know, you can only activate these if you're in a life-threatening situation where wherever you are. So... And, and if you don't, if you go and activate one of these and it's not life-threatening, there can be big fines and penalties come attached with them. So take that into account as well. You know, if, if you, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere and, you know, you want to get home and for whatever reasons, well, you can't just set this off just for the sake of it. It's got to be life-threatening. So take that into account too, you know, when, when, you, when you're looking into these. So that's why I sort of looked at this and, you know, and just comparing again back to, you know, the ones where, you know, you can obviously, I don't even know what they look like because I've never actually even seen one, but, you know, but the ones where, you know, you can send a text and that sort of stuff as opposed to this, you know, you, you might have been, you know, a pretty 
disastrous, you know, emergency where, you know, you've been bitten by a snake or, you know, you've fallen down a cliff or whatever, and you mightn't be in a position to be able to get on the thing and send Texas out. So this is why I, I like this unit. It's just so simple. It's just flip that aerial up, point it to the sky, not being inside a room like it is here, but um, point that to the sky, hit that button around the corner there and just lie back and wait and hopefully they get to you in time. Now, it's going to be the same no matter what sort of unit you've got. you just got to hope they get to you in time. And um, So that's why I like this unit here. It's just simple, pretty easy to, um, to use. I'll just fold that aerial away and get him sort of out the road. So that just sort of just tucks in there like that and then just tucks back up in there and that's it, all folded away ready for next time. And then with these two, um, as the same with your EPIRB and those sort of things, you've got to make sure you register them. It's, it's I think it's law actually with any of these units, you, you must register them. And the thing with a PLB, a personal located beacon like this one, you know, it's registered to me. You know, it, it's, it's all registered to me. It's not registered to anybody else. Um, so when you get on the, the registration, when you buy one of these, you know, you'll get all the details will come with you, come with the unit to show you how, how you go about it and the websites you've got to get on. Um, with this one, I'm just on the Australian Maritime Safety Authority website and that's where I'm on there and, um, you know, and all my details are there. So you fill out all your details, your personal details, and, and you've got to give you, um, got to hand over, you know, some contact emergency phone numbers um, from you know three people if you can um, with part of your registration. So and the, and the thing with the registration and having those phone numbers, those emergency contact numbers, is that you know they can take away any guesswork because they you know they probably get I don't know they might, might get a fair amount of false alarm calls with these. You know they might go off accidentally, whatever else. So at least if they go off, you know they can ring those numbers that you have provided within your registration. And they can just say, look, we've just got a notification, whatever, from, you know, Bates, he's out wherever and he's, um, he's, he, his PLB's gone off. Has he gone away? And you can, and they can generally tell you because that's what you should be doing too. You should always let people know where you're going, particularly if you're travelling solo. So, you know, you, they can just let people, yeah, 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 he's certainly out there. So, and that's when, you know, they'd, then they'd get out there and, um, you know, start looking for you. So that's the unit that, I, that I've got there. But do make sure you mention it. Uh, mention that, that registration, put all your details. And the other thing with this too, I've got an expiry. So there's a battery expiry life. They generally last around sort of sort of six to eight years. Um, I've had this one a couple of years now. And, you know, and the expiry date on it's 2024. I'm sure if you can see that or not. But um, So, yeah, so that's, that's the expiry for the battery life on this one. You know, and for, as I say, for two or three hundred bucks, um, you know, it's just simple peace of mind, a bit of insurance while you're out there travelling these remote areas and um, and that's what I like about this. And, and I take this everywhere. So it's in my full drive all the time. And if I get out of my full drive and go for a walk, you know, from, particularly if I'm out there by myself, if I go for a walk somewhere, you know, you can strap it onto your belt. It comes in a little pouch, which I've got out there, but comes in a little pouch that you sits in and that can just strap onto your belt and you can take it absolutely everywhere. So um, just to see what some of you guys sort of are using there. So, Mark, yeah, we, we go bush a fair, fair bit and prospecting that and really should get one. Mate, everyone should have one of these, fair income. You really should have one of these. Any Anyone that's getting out there in the outback or whatever, as soon as you step out of mobile phone reception, look, you can have a satellite phone as well, and that might be another backup as well, but it gets back to the other application with these, you know, where you know where they come with, you know, the texting option. You might be in a position, might be health-wise, you know, if you've had a bad bad accident or, you know, that sort of thing, you might be in a position to even pick up a sat phone to even dial it. So... That's where these things are just great. Um, there's a lot of other other um, options on the market, not just this one, where, you know, just open the antenna, point it up. To the, it's got to be clear view to the sky. That's the only thing you've got to make sure. So it doesn't wouldn't work too well if you're inside buildings and that sort of stuff. You know, you've got to have, like any sort of satellite-operated um, device, it must have clear view to the sky, you know, so they can make sure they work and they pick up the satellites and that sort of stuff. So... Um, and, yeah, and that's that's sort of reason why I sort of like this one here. 
<clears throat> so what else have you guys got going on going on with that one? Um, g'day, Gary. How you going there from Dubbo tonight, mate? David, how are you, mate? Um, threatening um, is, is life threatening? Do you need an ambulance cover? Well, I've got amb ambo cover as well because you should have ambulance cover as well because if they're going to fly an air ambulance out there, a chopper out there to get you, and if you don't have air ambulance, well, or ambulance cover, you're going to be stung with a massive bill for that helicopter flight. So. Um, ambulance cover covers you for all that sort of stuff and I've got that as well so make sure you, you do do get your ambulance cover because um, that covers um, for all those sort of pickups as well. Um, g'day Sean how you going there mate? What's roughly the time frame until the signal? Um, well the way they work is as soon as I activate that little button on the side there as I showed you before it from here goes up to a satellite up there somewhere out, out up in space somewhere up there and then from there it comes straight back down to the emergency services, and, and then that's where the um, the, the signals um, picked up from there, and then you know then they know exactly where to go to. So now this has got a range on it. They're generally all about the same, but I know this one's got a, an accuracy range because it's GPS operated. So it's got an accuracy range of about 50 meters of pinpoint location from where I'm sitting when I push that button. So you know. Absolutely, an absolute must that you think you can must get hold of one of these if you're travelling out to any of those, those sort of areas. But, you know, then that's sort of just how they work, you know. Pretty much just push that button and uh, lie back and wait and hopefully they get to you in time with whatever whatever it is. Um, g'day, Chris. How you going there, mate? Coming in from the uh, cost of, of, of the unit. Uh, this one here that I've got, they're about 280 300 bucks, and this is what I mean, and the battery life on them lasts of sort of about that, this is about eight-year battery. I've had this one for about three-odd years, and as I showed you before, um, the battery expires on it in 2024. So for 300 bucks a year, or 300 bucks to go and buy one of these, it works out to about 50 bucks a year, peace of mind, so insurance, you know, for, for all that safety um, in case you – you know, you get into something where, you know, you, you can't pick up the phone and ring or because you're out of phone, mobile phone reception. So for about 50 bucks a year, it is fair income dirt cheap and everyone should have one of these in your full drive, camping, hiking, deer shooting, whatever you do. If you're getting out there, as soon as you step outside mobile phone reception range, um, you should fair income have something like this. Now, as I say, whether it be this one, or the other units, you know, where you can send the texting and, and that sort of stuff on them. But as I mentioned, the only thing with the, the texting option, there is subscription based. So this is a one-off payment. You buy the damn thing. It sits in my full drive, goes with me absolutely everywhere, and that's it. So it, as I say, you know, it equates to about 50 bucks a year. Um, this thing provides me with 100% guaranteed. I'm going to get picked up and, and found if I in a life-threatening situation out there wherever I am out there in the bush. Uh, G'day, David. How you going there, mate? Uh, just brought, brought one online. Good thought. That's great, mate. Well, there's one. I'm happy straight away. I've got someone who's gone bang and gone and bought themselves a PLB or a personal locator beacon because this is what we need. You know, everyone should have – there's been a number of rescues throughout the year, um, people going missing that have been found. And some of them have been, you know, days before they've been found. And some of them, and particularly in the high country, not talking about these ones that are still missing, I'm not even going to go there, but but people that have been found, they've been out there sort of four or five days. Feeding. If you had one of these, you'd be found within hours, not days. So that is the difference. And, and that could be the difference between you surviving and you dying. So, you know, so... Feeding, get yourself something one of these or look at look at one of these because there's so many on, on the market out there to have a look at. G'day, Stephen. Um, don't like don't um, don't like them as they do. Do not tell you how bad you are. A sat phone gives you the options to say urgent. Well, as I say, look absolutely, and this is what we got. You know, you got to do with that, Stephen. You just got to wait up, mate, to what you want and what's going to suit you. But the thing is, as I mentioned with the sat phone, as you've mentioned there, and sat phones are great as well. Um, but what if you're, you know, you're, you're in an unconscious situation or, you know, you've been bitten by a snake or, you know, you've been badly hurt, you might be able to dial the numbers to be able to make that phone call, whereas this is just quick and easy, flip that aerial open, push that button and sit back and wait. That's how easy it is. So, you know, and this is where you've just got to weigh it up. You know, you've got to weigh up your own safety, what you think you guys need. Um, but for me, that does the job 
Absolutely perfectly. Uh, Jamie, um, sounds like uh, money well spent. And what does the life what does the life cost? Well, absolutely money well spent. And, uh, mate, and as I mentioned before, you know, for 50 bucks a year, um, it pretty much what it equates to. It's cheap as chips. So, yeah. Uh, Matt, um, I have a, uh, a – was that a, a Delamore in, in search two-way satellite communicator, works a treat, sends and receives text message, and obviously it is um, as the SOS on the plan with the, uh, the pivotal. So, yes, yeah, so that's okay. So plan, you know, that's again, it's working for you. But then, you know, there, there's costs involved with, with the plans. But So that's what I mean. You know, you just got to look at all the options. Don't just race out and buy a personal locator beacon and say, okay, that's for me. You've got to really weigh it up. You know, do you want that extra sort of protection that comes with these? You know, do you want to be able to text or do you want to be able to buy a sat phone and, you know, so you can make a phone call? Um, that's what you've got to weigh up. But for me, this is what I like about it. It's just simple, easy and works. Well, I haven't had to use it yet, so I don't know if it works. But from what they say about them, these are an absolute must. So, and hopefully I don't ever get in, put into position, you know, where I've, where I've got to activate it because... You know, it's going to be pretty uh, life set threatening situation, you know, if you've got to use one of these. So hopefully, I don't ever get put in that position. Um, Stewards, uh, when the when the unit battery runs runs out over the eight years, do you have to buy a new unit, or is it? I'm pretty sure you've got to. Um, I'd have to check on that one. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one, there, Stuart, but I'm pretty sure when the battery goes on them, you've got to yeah, turf it and go and buy a new one. But you know, for 300 bucks every eight years, it's probably not such a bad thing if that's the case. But I might need to check on that one because I, I can't really answer that one 100% for you there, mate. But maybe, you know, if you do some research yourself, you'll be able to find that out. But um, there you go. Um, um, B, B Mon, what's going on there, mate? Will it work on a boat? And it absolutely will. And, and these will work on a boat. And as I say, you know, if you want to look at that other video I've got where I could talk about the difference between a PLB and the EPIRD, there are big differences. Um and you can take this if you're, you know, crewing on a boat and you want to jump on another boat, where well, you can take that with you. And that's the thing. Whereas a, an EPIRB, technically you can't because they're registered to a, a particular vehicle. Whereas this, you can jump from boat to boat to boat to boat and take that with you and you're all covered. Um, so there you go. That sort of answers that one a little bit briefly. Uh, g'day, Greg. I'm on board, Tim. Where, whereabouts do you keep yours in your rig? Well, I've just got a um, one of those pocket organiser things. Um, just in the, in the behind my driver's seat, and all my safety gear pretty much sits in there. And then, but if I'm going to go out and walk somewhere, I generally just chuck on my little first aid kit. I chuck this in a backpack, and well, this can, as I say, you know, can sit around your belt, um, and away I go. But you got to make sure you you want this handy. You know, you don't want to be you know chucked in the bottom of your glove box somewhere or the back of your drawer of your recovery gear, and then you got to be ratting through to try and find it if there's an emergency. But so, yeah, so you want to make sure it's handy wherever wherever you're going to go. Uh, future Grey Nomads, what's going there, mate? You can send back um, and get a, get a new battery. Well, there you go. Someone's already replied there. Thanks very much for, for sorting that one out there. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, Mark Scott, is it waterproof? Um, they are waterproof, but they don't float. From what I told, they, they don't float, but they are waterproof. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that sort of answers that one. Uh, Billy, send the unit to the manufacturer and they have a battery replacement. There you go. There's heaps of guys there now answering that question about, you know, as far as what goes on with the battery. So you can just send it back. They'll chuck a new battery in it and then you'll, it'll send it back to you and then you get another eight years out of it. So there you go. Um, Enzac, what's going there? Do I have to update the, my dynasty before every trip? Not really sure about that, mate. Um not sure what sort of unit that one is that you've got there. So, yeah, he's not, not, not really sure about that one. Uh, Adrian, uh, g'day, mate. How are you going? I spent a bit of time in outback hunting remote with, in the Vic High Country um, with my PLB and comes with me everywhere. I have a KTI unit, which is uh, the one one off payment, also has a 10 year battery life. That's, well, that sounds like a pretty good one there, too, mate. So, that's what I mean. You know, there, there's so many of these out there. So, don't just jump on the first one you know, that, that you see because you know, I've had this sort of you know, for about three, four years and um, and the technology's changed. There's a heap of others now on the market. So um, so make sure you do check them out. But that one there that Adrian mentioned about, you know, there you go. So one-off one off payment and 10-year battery life. I think this one's got eight, eight-year battery life on it. Um, so there you go. Right, eh? Well, I think that um, that sort of covers that topic pretty well. 
And, you know, I'd really like to see everyone get on one of these, one of these of some sort, you know, um, because we just, you should just all have something like this in your full drive, in your camping kit, you know, wherever you're going out there, whether you're hiking or whatever you're going to go out and do. But as soon as you step out of mobile phone reception range and you don't have satellites and that sort of stuff, satellite phones, well, this is an absolute necessity for your safety and, you know, for anyone else that's with you because, you know, you, if, if you mightn't be the one that get injured, injured, but you know you might be away with you know with a group, and someone might have a heart attack or whatever. Well, absolutely, you're going to set this off because you know, and just stay with them, and then emergency service will will come to wherever you are. So there you go, guys. Let's wrap this up, and uh, we'll see what comes up with next week. But get yourself onto a PLB of some sort, and you guys have a have a great week. And thanks very much, guys, for dropping in tonight. Great feedback again from everyone there. Greatly appreciate all the uh, the replies, everything coming through. Absolute ripper stuff. Um, some good stuff there. Really enjoy it. So we'll catch you guys uh, next week, and we'll see you then. Have a good one. Stay safe, guys. Uru.